Greg Minar moving on from Santa Cruz after 16 years. It's the end of an era. <laughs> Bingus, could you move on or have you got serious brand loyalty? Let me tell you. On the Dutch Show! Welcome to this week's Dirt Shed Show with me and Bingham. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this week because oh, it's, it's quite controversial. It, well, it's sort of controversial. Yeah. It's kind of sad. Greg Minner is leaving the Santa Cruz Syndicate after 16 years of brilliance uh, yeah. on both the Syndicate's part and Greg's. Yeah. Um, it's sad but exciting. It is sad and exciting. And if you are into racing, it's a bit like Rob Warner leaving the commentary box. It's a bit like that. Yeah, it's big news. It's big it's news. Big news. Um, we're all interested to see where he's going to go. Mm -hmm. uh, but what it got me thinking about Bingers, right, is that, I mean, Greg's probably good at it. He's been on Honda and he's been on Orange. He's and been he's, there, he's been on some big beginning. brands. Yep. So he can move on. But after 16 years, it's going to be hard, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it got me thinking about brand loyalty. And, and you know, we buy into some brands, can't we? we? Yeah. Uh, and you can't let them go. Like, you may have noticed if you watch the Dirt Show regularly, I quite like a Cannondale. 1995 That's Cannondale, one of the biggest Cannondale fans there is. I was on Cannondale for eight years yeah. and they got in my heart. Yeah. I, I ended up just loving the brand. Um, it was true love, man. It is true love and, coming And from if you. someone said to me, right, you can only ride one brand for the rest of your life, <laughs> it would be such an easy, I'd be Cannondale all the way, right? Yeah, no matter yeah. what bike they make, no how, how bad it got, Cannondale all the way. What about you? What would you, what would you, if you've <laughs> got to ride a brand, I just think I know one. what you're going to say. What do you, would you, there's, there's no, you, I mean, this is difficult, right? Because we've got brand partners and they're all amazing. Yeah, incredible. But I'm saying, right, none of that counts. You're not allowed that anymore. Mm -hmm. You've been fired, Bingers. You can only ride one bike for the rest of your life. Oh, blimey. It's, hard. it's really hard. Really hard. The grab. The grab. The, the bike grab. I built in my shed. No, I wouldn't. Because no, you've I don't got to pick it. a brand. This is about brand loyalty. Well, it, there's two, but yeah. should I pick one or the two? Can I pick two? No, brand Come loyalty. Come tell us the story. So I've ridden a trek. I haven't had a trek. Oh, right. My brother had a trek, and I I love the look of it. It looks yeah. incredible. So I yeah, would go no, trek. But wait, I think what you're doing there, and I don't want you guys out there to do this when you're thinking about your brand loyalty, yeah. right? Not the bike you think would be good for the rest of life. Uh, the one, the brand you just like, yeah, I've that's got it. all me. I've got it. What is it? Nuke proof. <laughs> I knew it. Nuke -proof. Rich, did you know it is always going to be new? I can't be lucky. Uh, I'd have never have guessed. Because you've got you've got too much history with it, I've right? got so much history with that bike. Yeah, it's it's yeah. built into me, and the people. It's not just I'll the brand; it. it's the people behind I'll the brand. That, you know, that's the question I'm asking today. Like, as, is there a brand for you guys out there that you just like? Let us know in the comments because I really want to know about it. Like, is there a brand you just like? Yeah, they've got me. They got me all the way. Because I mean, it's quite interesting. Will Santa Cruz be the cool brand mm. that they've always been mm. without the goat on it? I mean, yeah. we'll, a lot of people would have said Santa Cruz a week ago. Would they say Santa Cruz now? I don't yeah. know. They it left, might be different. They left the goat pen open and he's escaped. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. And is it still the syndicate, the Santa Cruz syndicate, when Greg Minar's not on it? I don't know. That's a different topic we need to talk about probably further on in the future. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, that's, yeah, I mean, who <laughs> knows? <laughs> we, we sat and had a coffee and we spoke Oh, a lot you're saying, that. Yeah. is there still is, a syndicate? Uh, yeah. Ooh. I don't know, that might have happened in these moments, who knows? Could be happening right now. Um, but Santa Cruz, cool brand. The Syndicate has been a big part of that. Are they still in your heart? Or is there another brand that you really love? I love Ooh. that conversation. Yeah. Let it's us great. know in the comments down below if you are a dedicated Orange fan. That because is, oh, sorry. I know that. I, oh, Orange. That's a That's really good, point, good brand. Right? That's that one of those love. brands. It is, isn't it? They're like orange through and through. They just don't matter how bad oranges get, <laughs> people just keep on buying them. Because they can't leave, they're like, I'm an orange guy, I know the feeling, I'm a Cannondale guy. I, Some of them are awful. I'm a big Porsche fan, it's a bit like that, they all look the same. <laughs> being in a Porsche fan is not the same as being an orange fan. No, sorry. I can tell you. <laughs> oh, they right, all look just the same. a quick test. Rich, what would be your brand of choice for the rest of your life? You love it. Trek! 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 Jack! Santa Cruz. Santa, Santa Cruz, you loser! See? <laughs> <laughs> they haven't even got the goat anymore. What are no. you talking about? They've got the future goat. They haven't even got the future. They've Petey got the future, anymore. yes. 
Jackson. Jackson can't carry the title of the syndicate all on oh, his own. He is a new and up and coming. Anyway, we are pressure. being digressed <laughs> onto other yeah, things. Yeah, I'll tell you what, before we get to an amazing Ergon competition in oh, there, yes. and the news, Bingers, you've got something big coming up. Bing, I got goosebumps thinking about it. Watch this. B type's on the move. Stay with the package. Oh there, we go. there we go. That, you know what it is. Oh, I'll tell you what, right? Don't say anything, right? Because this is amazing. You have done an incredible job. Oh. And we're all so proud of Bingers for this. It's, it's Do not miss this video. Oh, I, I got goosebumps. Oh, I really want to show so you. so good. Yeah. Honestly, this is going to be amazing. Um, I don't want to talk about it because I'm going to give something oh. away. Right, before we go to the news, we have got an amazing Ergon competition coming up. You can win one of three uh, bundles that we've got here. Right, look at what we've got in this bundle. You can win these just by following the link in the description down below. So you can get HM2 glove, GA2 grip, you get the SMC core, and this comes in men's and women's, mm -hmm. uh, ergonomically shaped. Basically, you can ride for much longer on a saddle like this, right? It's got technology built into it that's gonna make this the comfortable ride, mm -hmm. um, and I think probably you can vouch for that. Well, we've um, been on these saddles yeah. for a very long time. Uh, you get the IPO, IP Pro Soul Star. Um, I tried them, they felt great. <laughs> a little joke there. <laughs> and this is the BA Hip Pack, right? So that's cool. There's three of these bundles. I mean, amazing. The right? saddle is very comfortable. Um, I can vouch for that. I can. I can. And Ergon are just too good, man. I love their grips and everything about them. So great competition this week. Great chance for you to win a brilliant prize. Follow the link in the description down below uh, and get yourself a nice Christmas present. Yeah, Why a not? Christmas present. Why Ooh. not? Right, let's head over to the news with Tom. Hello everyone, lots to catch you up on this week, so let's dive right on in with the new releases. Forbidden have finally dropped the Supernaut, the brand's first downhill bike developed by athletes like Conor Fearon. This 205mm travel downhill smasher is available in four sizes and two colours. Very cool retro styling on these, mixed wheel frame kits only for now, 200mm brake mounts as standard and lots of built-in protection. The second new bike to talk about this week is one that holds a special place in many folks' hearts. Ancelotti have got an update to the Scarab. It maintains its unique linkage and raw frame, but receives an overhaul of the numbers to bring it in line with modern customer expectations for a boutique enduro bike. Some great news from Crankworx last week, announcing that they're adding a women's category to the slope style in 2024. The Slopestyle World Championship is part of the Freeride Mountain Bike Association, or FMBA for short. In 2024, female freeriders with a minimum of 500 World Tour ranking points can enter, with six women qualifying per Crankwerk Slopestyle event. Both men's and women's categories will be televised across all four international stops, and prize funds for male and female competitors will be equal. In other Crankworks news, they've just announced the details of the Summer Series, which this year will be held across three days in March at just one venue. But what a venue! Christchurch Adventure Park will play host to Downhill, Jules Slalom, Pump Track and more. And silly season where we hear rumours flying around all over the place is in full effect. And as the guys have been saying in the show, probably the biggest one that we did not see coming, Greg Minard is set to change teams after 16 years on the Santa Cruz Syndicate. It's unconfirmed at the time of filming, but judging by the comments on a post from co-founder of Santa Cruz, Rob Roskop, the Syndicate team might even be folding. Exactly where Minar is off to next isn't confirmed yet, but the rumour mill is in full churn. I've also noticed that a couple of things on Brendog's stories, possibly a new gambler as he's covering up that central bit of the bike there, maybe with the internal style shock. 
and he was riding with Valley Hull, who has a familiar looking jersey on that she was keen to cover up. Let us know in the comments what you think about those rumours. I'm off to message anyone who's ever stolen any of my KOMs, which there are precious few of, because DMs on Strava are now a thing. So you can go and tell whoever just took your local legend status that they're probably on an e-bike. Right, this week's sickest thing has to be this new video from Soren Fahrenholtz and Ride or Die called Soren. Soren is such an underrated rider. The dude's got so much style, everything always so steezy, and just a really good trick selection. My favorite clips have to be that nolly bar spin at the start, the 360 one foot can on the big bike, and then also the opposite tail up to late bar spin. And obviously that absolutely huge bar to bar on that dirt quarter pipe. Dirt quarter pipes are just so sick and yet we never really see them. And the filming and edits from Paul Genovese, personally I'm just a really big fan of how he puts parts together. So yeah, definitely worth checking this one out. Right, that's my sickest thing this week, time to go back to the shed. Thank you very much, Tom and Toff, for that. But now it's time for probably one of my favorite parts of the show, that and Bike Vault, but this one is Hacks and Bodges. And take oh. a look at this first one from Matthew. Oh my God. Matthew, what the hell were you thinking? He's made MIPS. <laughs> He's made MIPS. So basically, this is a system in your helmet that means that your the helmet can hit something, but yeah. your head's got some rotational movement in it. <laughs> um, but he's made it out of an, an old MIPS shell yeah. and some sellotape. <laughs> I can see where he's coming from, but dude, no. What? No, 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 to, no. F Matthew, for you to win the race top this week, the next one would have to be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, and unfortunately, it isn't. It's but really at, great. But look at the tape, but look at all of it. It's just, Blake, move just, on. No. Move on. No. Um, next, we've got this one from Never is the author of this one. Well, um, I never. Does want to give away the name. Look at uh, that. A bit of fab shop work. Brilliant. I love Bike a bit of welding. Rack, mountain. So basically, hook on, can swing left and right mm -hmm, for mm -hmm, giving mm -hmm. you more space. And yeah. I really love how he's melt welded over the bolts. He has welded. So the locking yeah, that's, point. That's definitely not coming out of the wall. Yeah. Um, first thing you said when you saw that was like, is he going to repaint the wall? Are you going to repaint the wall? Yeah. Because it looks a bit brown when you've welded it. Yeah. Um, that's probably right up your street. I isn't love it? that. So never. That's really I, good. I think Matthew's mips though so funny. But why has he destroyed a perfectly well manufactured MIPS helmet and put it in a full Well, it place? got broken, it was broken. So okay. he, he didn't destroy another helmet, it was okay. broken and any. He... Okay. That makes me think he bumps his head. Yeah, so don't you wear that. Don't wear what? that helmet. <laughs> Do not wear that helmet. Okay, Blake, pick a winner. Oh, um, race top of your choice, viewer. Coming your way to Matthew Do or never. Well, I never. It never should be. Well, it I should never. be never. Well done. Congratulations. Well done. Great, great hacks and bodges. See, with a hack or bodge, it doesn't have to be incredible. It can be funny, uh, whimsical, um, and slightly dangerous. <laughs> so send us your hack or bodge into the GMBN uploader, and uh, we could be winning a race top on this point of the show next week. It's that easy. <laughs> easy. Right, let's keep going with the show. What we got next? Send it, send it, send it. You got it, send it, send it, send it. Whoa! Oh, Some fails there. Some fails there. Uncomfortable watching. Anyway, this is this is not uncomfortable. Take a look at this book. We're doing a little shop shout out. We've just brought out the mountain bike maintenance book. Look at take, look at that. It's so good. This book. If you want to give so someone proud of it. a really nice. Christmas present. It's this the is perfect. perfect Christmas perfect. present. Um, we've also got great uh, three for two offer bundles in the shop. Yep. So that's a great Christmas idea. Christmas specific little bundles. So head over to the GMBN shop. Great presents in there. We promise. We guarantee it. We do. You buy two. You I get don't think one we're free. allowed to guarantee things. Or, I, 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 or, we or your money back. You can we, now. Stop talking. We shouldn't promise anything. We're not the people for that. Are we not? No. Anyway, K 
caption contest. This yes. was last week's photo. Steve Jones, young Steve Jones. I never knew he was that young. I never knew he could be young. Yeah, no, he was young no, once. I've only known he was him when he was super old. Um, right, we've got some good captions for this. Uh, Matt Mitchell says, a young Steve put on his riding gear, sat perfectly still, and refused to do anything until e-bikes were invented. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm. that's about right, actually. About right. Yeah. We've got Foster Huster. Young Steve Jones planning his future where he never has to pedal and get paid for it. Well, it's all e-bike related, all isn't e it? Yeah. Um, this one's not. Eso X Cycle says, when Halfords have done your bike setup. <laughs> oh, yeah, just look at it like that. Serious burn on the Halfords maintenance there. <laughs> <laughs> UK joke. Yeah. Um, what do you think, Blake? We're going to send a stunt mug to the Ooh, best mine. one. Mine. Faster Halster or Eso X Cycles or Matt Mitchell? Oh, I'm going to leave it up to you. It's quite a hard one. They're all um, quite similar. I'm going to go with, I think Eso X Cycles is quite funny. The burn made me laugh. <laughs> yeah. Stunt mug on its way Ooh. to you. Um, congratulations. Now, if you would like to win a stunt mug like this one that we just sent, then please give us a caption for this. Fantastic Ooh, photo. My... Where did they... I like every time we say it, but where do they get these photos? It's naughty, isn't it? it is naughty. Um, give us a Pop. caption of that in the comments down below, uh, and you could be winning yourself a stunt mug. <laughs> okay, some things we like this week. Can I start, Bingers? You may start in the Dundois. Amazing Ooh. flatlander. Mm. Look at this, having mm -hmm. a go on Sam Pilgrim's bike. Flatlanding a mountain bike. Oh, it's incredible, isn't it? Look, how oh, can he spin a big bike so like that? He's gone man. from his BMX, which is built to do that, I love to it. that. I love that. Mm. Um, also, Axel IHX. How the hell does he get away with this? Where I'm surprised he's still got teeth in his face. He just walks Look away it. from a, basically a massive Nuts. front flip crash, just like, oh, that was, that was tricky. Mm. Unbelievable. Mm. Anything you like this week, Bingers? Yeah, I love Grind Hard Plumbing Co. Take a Whoa. look at this. So it's like 42 inch monster tires with a KTM 990 or 960 motor in there. It's a twin and he's building the space frame thing into a motorbike. Is that going to work? That looks yes. like you know. That looks like it's going to have the same problem as the Bat bike. That it didn't actually work. Oh yeah, <laughs> that didn't work. It was famously only Jean Pierre Goy could ride it. Really? Yeah. Blimey. Very famous old school motorcycle trials rider. But these guys, this guy's incredible because the front hub assembly, because it's all mm. going to be turning. The front hub assembly is incredibly nuts. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's different. It's different. Blake's mm. giving you something different to like there. Right, let's have a look at what we've got coming up on the channel this week. Um, I really want to focus on Sunday. <laughs> Sunday is an amazing, ah, oh, it's so cool. It's uh, so hopefully cool. it turns out to be really cool for uh, the it, viewers. It's made me think differently about the future. Okay. It's very, very cool. I love it. Um, Bing as well done. Look forward to that. Thank what you. else are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the 20 MTB tips for beginner to pro. It's pretty oh, good nice. one. Informative and uh, a lot of As simple as follow these 20 things and you'll be professional at the end of it. Yes. Is that a promise? I uh, can't promise anything, but yes. Again, read the terms and conditions, <laughs> but some great videos coming up this week. Right, we've just got time to do a bit of Bike Vault. <gasps> It's the bike fault. Bike fault. Yes. Let's get in there. First one is Blair's 2010 Norco Havoc. Greg Minard likes that. Look, Greg Minard loves them. Um, <laughs> but look at the state of that skate park. It's wet and he's out there shredding them crazy ass coloured tyres. Uh, yeah. I'm I not like sure it. about those tyres. Do you like them? I like it. Super nice. Uh, super nice. Hang on. You're just super nice in it because there's a dirt jump bike. Um, ring that bell. Well done, Blair. Next up, we have oh. got oh, nice Marin. Um, Marin, I nice. love. Lo nice. Lo no nice, nice, nice. Next bike, we oh. have got. Ooh, Ooh. What is that? This one is a Schwinn. Old? Oh, is it old school though? Well, it looks it. Mm. It's nice. 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 Next up, we have got. Barry's YT. Jeff Jesse. Pro. Lovely picture. Northeast Lovely spot. of Scotland. Oh, come on, that's, that's super nice. <laughs> That almost looks like it's been drawn by AI. Yeah, it uh, has, yeah. Forest. Ah, yeah. Um, next Ooh. up, we've got Morad's or Bayer Alma. Um, the car, oh no, it's not. Look at the um, seat bag, whatever. Look, what's. 
Nice. Do you remember words? And you use them in a pattern. Well, no, it it's just, I am speechless to what speechless. is underneath his is saddle. Is it nice? Is it super nice? It's nice. Norad's got a nice. nice. Only a nice. Sorry. Oh, Next up, we've got. Whoa, oh, hang on a minute. No. These are Alberto's. It's his Saw 24 and a Krukirk's 26. They're both super nice. <laughs> oh, whoa, no. Oh, no. Yes, boys, wait, wait, super look, nice. look at the size of them bar eyes on yeah. that one. I know a game you could play. Shut up. That's the one. <laughs> Next up, we've got Jason's Mondraker F Podium, and R -R. it is. Well, it's non drive size, really nice bike. Yeah, it's nice. It could be it's more nice. if it was the other way around. So simple. It's Missed so out. So simple. Never mind. Rubbing it. Whoa! Whoa! Merry Christmas. Is that the same one? That no, looks it's like not. an e-bike. This is Luke's Mondraker. That's an e-bike. It's isn't an it? Ebes. Uh, is Merry it? Christmas. Merry Christmas. Do uh, maybe. Super nice. Song. It's, yeah, yeah, super nice. Know. Got me in the Christmas spirit. Yeah. Next Wait, up. That's like a spy shot. This is from MTB and he is. On a common cell. It's got a lot of blue going that's on there. That's Windhill Bike Park, that is, in the car park. Does that, make, what, does that make you want to give it? Nice. <laughs> oh, and that's the last uh, one. Oh, well, I'm sorry. You landed on a right downer then. <laughs> um, great bikes this week. Keep them coming in the bike vault. That's what the upload is for. It's down there in the description. Tell you what, this week, don't forget, I really want to, I really love talking about the brands that have got mm -hmm. into our heart. So mm -hmm. get involved in the comments down below. Let us know what is that brand that's got in your heart. You're always going to be buying those bikes all through your life. I love hearing about that. Um, and thanks for watching this week. Bingers, thanks for joining us. Enjoy yourself. Loved it. Thank you very much, oh, Mr. Nice Ashton. To nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you next time. See you later. <laughs> Cup of tea? Shall we? Yeah. Come on, then. No, really? Really. I'll make you one. Okay.